In this video, we're heading into the North Country to have a look at the caribou of Alaska and Canada. Now this is another video here at this channel that'll be a little longer than the usual three minutes or so, but it's a really interesting topic, so I hope you don't mind. Caribou are often referred to as reindeer in many countries, especially those of Europe. And while both reindeer and caribou are of the same species, in North America, reindeer are generally referred to as the more domesticated, smaller subspecies of the caribou. Caribou are often pictured living in a variety of different habitats, and some appear much larger than others. This is because there are seven different subspecies of caribou, which can differ quite a bit in size. In Alaska, the barren ground caribou is the primary subspecies, along with a small herd of the woodland caribou, and they're distributed among 32 different herds throughout the state. Canada, on the other hand, has three subspecies, including the barren ground, the woodland, and the peri subspecies of caribou. For most other members of the deer family, only the males have antlers. With caribou, however, both males and females grow antlers. The males are bulls, as they're referred to, typically have much larger antlers than the females, or cows, as they're called. Bulls typically shed their antlers in late October through December when the breeding season is over. And the females, by comparison, can end up hanging on to theirs until late winter or even early spring. And like other species of deer, caribou also make vocalizations. Cows and calves will grunt and huff back and forth to maintain contact with each other. And the bulls make a much lower, more guttural grunting sound, but mostly only during the breeding season. Since caribou are herd animals, they're always on the move and looking for food. Caribou eat large amounts of sedge grass, leaves, mushrooms, lichens, and a variety of plants that grow out in the tundra. The life cycle and overall characteristics of caribou can vary among the different subspecies and herds, as well as the different areas in which they live. Calves are typically born between the months of May and June, and they can vary in color from dark brown to light brown, or even reddish in appearance. Calves weigh an average of around 13 pounds when they're born, and they grow rapidly. Calves can double their weight in only 10 to 15 days, and caribou can grow considerably large when they reach maturity. Bull caribou average between 350 to 400 pounds, and have been known to grow to a whopping 700 pounds. The females are typically much smaller and average between 175 to 220 pounds. When cow caribou are healthy and strong, they can breed when they're as young as 16 months old, but in most areas, they don't start until they're around two years old. Most cows get pregnant every year and give birth to one calf, with twins being a rare exception. After giving birth to their calves, caribou gather in large groups, which helps them avoid predators such as bears, wolves, and even eagles, who especially prey on the young calves. One of the ways that caribou elude predators is by the cows in the herd giving birth to a large number of calves in a very short period of time, which tends to overwhelm predators. Yes indeed, safety in numbers certainly works at least somewhat for the caribou. Another means of defense for caribou is that of swimming. Caribou have large concave hooves, which can expand to give them traction and support in snow and spongy tundra, but they also work great as paddles, which enables them to outswim predators that are hot on their trail. During the summer months, the large caribou herds tend to stay in windy, cool areas, which greatly helps keep the horrific infestation of bugs away from them. When the weather cools off in the late summer and fall months, Caribou spread out and feed aggressively, in order to regain the weight they lose during the warmer months. When late August and early September arrive, the big bulls shed the velvet from their antlers and get ready for the breeding season, as well as their fall migration. 
When the bulls get worn out from breeding and fighting, it's then that they get very susceptible to being attacked by predators such as wolves and bears. The lifespan of caribou can differ quite a bit between the various subspecies and herds. But in general, the bulls live around 8 years or so, and the cows typically live a bit longer, between 10 to 15 years. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel, click on the link in the video description below to find out more.